So, just got done with step four. Belt tensioner for the Y axis. What I like to call the X axis. Now, on to the next step, which uh, I believe is sub. T1, 2, 3, step 5 now. You're going to need the Y axis motor block. Which is uh, number 13. You're going to need the stepper motor, which is number 76. Getting one of these. Now, what I didn't mention before, and I'll mention now, is you can see there's wires. But look here. Every single stepper motor has been covered with a sheath. It's a kind of rubberized, fiberglass kind of cloth type of sheath, but it's very nice. Now the stepper motor will have a flat shaft, as uh, they all do. You're also going to need the pulley, number 43, one of those. These will have two set screws inside. Gonna need three of the M3 by 12 screws. Two of the M3 by 16 screws. And two of the M3 square nuts number 16. Uh, excuse me, the M20, the M3 by 12, the three of those is number 25. The M3 by 16, you need two of those, that's number 26. And the two square nuts, number 16. As I showed you before, another trick is take a small piece of rubber, just use my shoe and push along the side. You can peel that back pretty easily. Now, if you have any plastic pins in these holes, if they're still sitting there, take a small Allen key and you can just poke it out. Come right out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set the pulley to the stepper motor shaft and you're going to want the set screw towards the stepper motor itself. Generally I like to set the stepper motor so it's the flat shaft is facing the wires, the flat part of the shaft. Now you're going to insert the pulley until it's flush and you're going to take I believe it's a smaller Allen key. Yes, and tighten that down. I'm tightening it too much because this is an aluminum pulley and that screw is steel. For a good measure, I'm going to tighten down this one as well. Make sure nothing will come loose. That nice and snug. Next step will be to have the wires pointing opposite of where this bracket is going to be inserted, which will be here in the longer slot in the back. Now you got to be careful that you don't break this off in here. First we're going to place this onto the motor itself, to the Y motor, and using the M3 by 12 screws, Use that to secure the stepper motor to the bracket. Motor mount, stepper motor mount. Whatever I called it two minutes ago. You 
always want to be careful. You do not want to cross thread anything on this set. Take your time. I got a power drill sitting a foot from me, but I'm not using that. I'm very tempted to. steps to go from here, which you will not find in the manual, and I suggest uh, going in this direction, is placing these nuts one at a time inside the square little slot. And carefully without trying not trying to have them not fall out. Insert M3 by, I believe it was 12 screw, M3 by 16 screw, and tighten that to the rear acrylic plate. Like so. Snug it down pretty tight, you don't want to overdo it. I'm just getting to about as tight as I can get with the screwdriver and then go in a quarter, turn, pass that. If you want to follow exactly what I'm doing. It's pretty snug. Okay, and we'll stop there. <laughs> 